scroll out. How long did you know him? Seven years. I'm 21. We were the same age. If I had seen him die, it would be easier to forget him. I can see him, working and not saying anything. Wet to the skin and the noisy sea. But I can't see him when he dies. He was very beautiful. <laughs> he had dark eyes. I think of him as a fire. Why? A fire that doesn't die out. I've seen it burn in the sea. What do you mean? When we were young, we lit fires on the beach at night. And the fire shone on his face, and I saw it reflected in the sea. It danced, because both the flames and the water moved. Do you feel anything wrong? You mean guilty? Yes. When someone dies, people sometimes... No. I was always happy with him. There was nothing mean and selfish in it. It seemed perfect. And now, my life is over. Well, there's nothing to look forward to. My life is meaningless. I don't know what I shall do. I can't think of anything to make one day pass. And yet, <laughs> I have most of my life to live. I don't know how I shall get through it. He was the only one who could understand me now. I understand you a little. <laughs> yes. But what does that matter to me? All people matter to each other. Well, that isn't true, of course. I can't bear to lose him. I don't know how I can live without him. I don't think that love can be a terrible disaster. And hope is sometimes pride and ambition. When I'm lost in darkness, I'll shut my eyes and feel my way forward, grope like an animal, not be guided by some distant light. How can you escape what's yourself? Or what's happened to you, or the future. <laughs> it's a silly question. It's better out here, where he died. At home, there's just so much to do. People coming and going. Why? What does it matter to them? How can I escape that? If you look at life closely, it is unbearable. What people suffer, what they do to each other, how they hate themselves. Anything good is cut down and trodden on. The innocent and the victims are like dogs digging rats from a hole or an owl starving to death in a city. It is all unbearable. But that is where you find strength. An where owl else? starving in a city? To death, yes, wherever you turn. So you should never turn away. If you do lose everything, turn back and look into the fire. Listen to the howl of the flames. The rest is lies. How just. How sane. But what is it? It's on the beach. There. Why is he like that? He tried to pull the jumper over his head so he could swim. He drowned. Yes. Oh, is it him? Yes. I lent him my shoes. Go and fetch Mr. Evans. I'll keep watch. Yes. <laughs>